If for whatever reason you are in the market for a K1000 in the year 2024, here's some things you can look out for. So we'll start off with this one because this is the older of the two. Now there's a few differences about this from this that we're gonna talk about. For one, this has a metal top. I don't know if you can really hear that. Let me do the ASMR thing. Yeah, it's pr pretty sweet. The other thing, it has the Asahi name there and the Asahi Optical Company logo stamped onto this top of the prism here. On the bottom, you'll notice as well, it has a metal bottom with three screws and a very simple standard battery cover. Sometimes I'll have a sticker here, assembled in Hong Kong or assembled in, I think just Hong Kong, maybe Philippines as well. But anyway, I digress. You'll also notice that it has this little like black plastic bevel piece or something to that sort. The earlier or the later ones, I don't remember, have this metal stamping piece here and that's from the I think the KM or the KX or the K2 I think the KM or I'm going off of memory here but one of them has a battery check switch and that sits right there and this is pretty much the same top as one of those models you'll also notice here it has the Asahi Optical Company logo there and a very simple top as well Pretty standard K1000 fare. And now we have the newer model. This one was assembled in China, as you can tell here. The bottom immediately looks different. It's a plastic bottom. It has, I think, what is this? I can do math, five screws here, and a much different battery compartment here as well. This is a very, very clean looking uh, K1000 bottom here. Typically, these are pretty scuffed up and marked. So I'm very impressed by this. And then you can see on the top here as well, this is uh, missing the Asahi name. It's missing the logo, it just says Pentax, and it has the screws in the top here. It is also a plastic top, and it has this little plastic bevel here for the uh, film rewind knob housing. Other than that, the look of the shutter speed dial is different. Um, this one has a bit more of a metallic look. This one has a little bit more of a plasticky look to it. And then there's other like slight differences, but for the most part, it's it's roughly the same thing. Other things to know is the SE here is something that was featured on the older K1000s as well. And that basically means that it's, uh, I don't know if it stands for special edition or split edition, but basically means you have a split image focus screen in there. So that helps for focusing. The other thing to note about these models is the prism degradation. You can kind of tell in there, it has a bit of a uh, thing going on. Basically the foam that sits over top of the prism over time has eroded the prism itself. That's very, very common in these unfortunately, and this one is no exception. So if you are looking to get a K1000, I typically recommend the older ones. I think the metal kind of ages a lot nicer. The plastic over time, again, this is a very, very clean version, but they look pretty bad after a while. Like any little scuff or scrape, a dent, anything like that, if you look at it the wrong way, if the wind blows in the wrong direction, you could get this all marked up. So you just have to be careful about that. And then on top of that, the prism is going to be an issue as well. That being said, um, it's also very hard to source new parts for this. So if you get one with someone's serial number like dremeled into the bottom plate, finding a replacement bottom plate is going to be significantly more difficult than finding one for this because there's a slew of older K1000 parts and then also older KM, KX, what have you parts that also work for this model as well. So that's kind of the difference. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, but still, they're roughly the same to get into. Once you get into them, the internals are all interchangeable to a degree. It's just these external differences that I wanted to point out. And like I said, if you're looking for a K1000 to get, I would recommend the metal one, uh, but those are also gonna be very expansive. So definitely something to be aware of, but that is all. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and catch you on the next one.